This is the scene that I ended up with at the end of this video and what I'm aiming to do here is quickly remix it to get another slightly different effect. I'm going to make use of uh, this scene which uh, is just a, like an abstract panorama and in fact it comes from a product made by Haru and myself which you can see here and uh, there's there's quite a few of these actually a hundred more I don't know I I've, I've, don't really can't remember it'll be in the description anyway let's see I'm curious now oh over 200 examples and some video files so that's by the by so this is like a little advert for that as well you might consider it so here we have the scene that I had at the end of this video right that's where I was and what I'm going to do is modify this material uh, texture component here that I exported from the uh, image based lighting lab and load in that panoramic image that I just showed you so that's just as it was rendered in in the original scene that's then applied spherical mapped and it's being boosted by this out of range ambient channel from the deep texture editor and then I'm just going to select the objects in the scene so they're going to be on the default material modify the material there I'm going to make it fully transparent non-reflective change the refractive index to five uh, no not five what, what is it one five three that's it had a five in it so that's glass and then I'm going to turn the diffusion down and set the diffuse to fully white so it's not uh, gray inside check out of that one last modification to make and that is going to the render options and set total internal reflection I'll leave these values the same otherwise as they were in the other video so let's give that a quick render and uh, see what it predicts for a render time okay 21 minutes so I'll let you see what that looks like at the end of the video here then is the final render as you can see it's quite a dramatic effect and it seems to work better on uh, more complex shapes than it does on very simple ones the lighting in this case is arriving thanks to the HDRI image that are left in place through obscure lighting and a ambient optimized light source that's been set up to, to receive the light being sent out from the world center from the HDRI otherwise all the effects are coming as a result of the image that's wrapped around the sphere that's boosted by the ambient effect and then attenuated by the reduced reflection in the material so all this has a result of uh, emphasizing the highlights and increasing the contrast in the material so there you go that's the end of the video. I hope you found that interesting and that you'll experiment with this technique in your own renders.